Today on DIY Solar Power Papa, I just want to do a quick video and talk to you about running your pool pump on solar 24 hours a day. For almost 20 years, we followed the manufacturer's recommendation to run our pool pump on high to filter the chemicals through for about 8 to 12 hours a day and then turn it off. A problem with that out here, with the water being anywhere from 80 to 90 degrees, is the fact that <clears throat> when you turn the pool pump off, you start to get algae growth on the walls. And you have to brush it off. And then you have to use a shock to kill it once you brush it off. What we've realized is by just running our pool, even if we run it 800 RPMs all day long, 24 hours a day, it will still keep that algae from growing on the walls. And it's only equivalent to like a 55, 60 watt light bulb running that per hour on your solar. So it uses hardly any power whatsoever. Now what we do is we put one of the three inch chlorinating tabs in the chlorinator there. And then over here, we will put two tabs, three inch tabs in there on a weekly basis. So we go through three tabs in about a week, week and a half. And now I've eliminated the fact that I have to shock the water because I'm not getting the algae growth or any cloudy water or anything else because by constantly running that pool 24 hours a day, even as low as 800 RPMs, it keeps the pool crystal clear all the time. So it constantly just eliminates the need for, I was brushing this pool sometimes twice a day when I was turning the pool pump off overnight. And it was just discouraging to come out and see a bunch of algae growth when the pool was this crystal clear the day before. So if you live out in the Southwest and your pool water gets up to between 80 and 90 degrees and you're getting algae, if you have solar and you put your pool pump on your solar, you really only need to run it 800 RPMs 24 hours a day. Now I can run it up to 3,400 RPMs to prime the pump when I back flush or whatever, or I can run it on 2,800 RPMs to put it on skimmer so it gets rid of all the floaties on the top. And then I just go back to running at 800 RPMs. But I can run it 28 to 3,400 RPMs all day long with a solar if I want to. I just don't need to because um, it just dissolves that chlorine that much quicker and it doesn't really need to do it that quickly. So I find that it works better on about 800 RPMs all day long, 24 hours a day, unless I want to vacuum or I want to skim the top of the water. So it is... Uh, Really nice not having to brush the walls. It's been a week since I've had to brush the walls before when I followed the manufacturer recommendation, like I said, 8 to 12 hours a day running on high and then shutting it off. During the time it was shut off, it just grew algae like crazy. So now that I keep it running 24 hours a day, there's no algae growth whatsoever. It is completely gone and I'm using a lot less chemicals. I don't have to shock my pool. I don't have to put uh, algicide in it. I don't have to put clarifier in it. It's keeping it nice and crystal clear. So ends up costing you nothing to run your pool. And basically we've gone down to where we're just using the tabs to keep our pool clean. We have the other stuff if we need to add it, but the chlorine tabs are keeping it chlorinated enough that we don't have to add anything else to it. <coughs> Excuse me. Anyway, just want to do a quick video on that. If you live out in the Southwest and you're having problems with golden green algae or brown algae, try this and it should get rid of it. And we're actually buying chlorine tabs that we got from Costco. Usually we get our tabs from the pool supply Leslie Pool Supply out here, which I like better. But as long as you're running that pool pump 24 hours a day at a minimum of 800 RPMs, you shouldn't have any problems. 
please like, share, subscribe, and don't forget to hit that notification bell. And I hope you have a truly wonderful and extremely blessed day.